So today I've got my hands on a brand new mini PC by B-Link and this one has a very interesting name. It's called the Sir 3. It's a relatively compact, powerful mini PC running full Windows 10, supports Windows 11 upgrade. It's powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 with triple 4K outputs and lots, lots more. But first of all, let's have a quick look what you get inside the box. So we have a user manual, a short and long HDMI cable, a bag of screws and a metal bracket so you can mount this on the back of your monitor. You're also getting a power supply and you can check out the voltage right there. And last but certainly not least, the mini PC itself. So first thing I need to mention is it's very premium in build quality. It's made from what feels like a complete metal body finished in black. And to finish it off, you have this very nice metal mesh grill on the sides and on the top. And again, that acts like ventilation as well. You can see the B-Link AMD Ryzen 7 logos on the top. And you also have this very nice looking chrome trim going all the way around. So attractive design, attractive box, feels well made and very premium. Now quickly go through the ports. On the front, you have a small reset pin to clear the CMOS. You've got two USB 3 ports. You've got a Type-C port, which can be used for 4K output. You've got a headphone jack and a physical power button. On the side, you have nothing. On the back, you've got some vents on the top along with Gigabit LAN, two more USB 3 ports. You have two HDMI 2.0 ports and a power socket. Nothing on this side, and that brings us back to the front. So first thing to notice, we do have four USB 3 ports, and there's two on the front and two on the back. And this mini PC does support triple 4K displays all at the same time via the USB Type-C and the two HDMI ports on the back. So quickly go through the specs. This box is powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 3750H quad core clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, but has a maximum turbo of four gigahertz. So for graphics, you have the Radon Vega 10. Now this box has 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and there are two RAM slots and you can upgrade that RAM to a maximum of 64 gigs. Now for storage, we have a 512 gig M.2 SSD installed. There are two SSD slots and you can upgrade that to a maximum of two terabytes. And in addition to all of those upgrades, you can also add an additional two and a half inch SATA drive. So a lot of upgrade options available. This does have dual band Wi-Fi AC along with built-in Bluetooth. Supports USB 3 as already mentioned. You've got Windows 10 64-bit licensed, triple 4K display output. There is a silent built-in cooling fan and this does support 4K at 60 Hertz. All right, so we are gonna have a quick look at the upgrades available in this box. So flip it over, you can see four screws, one in each corner. Let's get them open. Okay, so once you take the four screws off, there is a ribbon cable on one of the edges. Remove it off carefully. And over here, you would slot your two and a half inch SATA. So there you can see our 512 M.2 SSD. So there are two RAM slots, but only one stick of RAM is installed. So we've got an empty slot behind there. We've got 16 gigs of RAM. So you can easily add another 16 gig of RAM to give you a total of 32 gigs, or you can upgrade it to a maximum of 64 gigs of RAM. The M.2 SSD can be upgraded up to two terabytes. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card. And we are gonna find out if the B-Link Sir 3 performs as good as it looks. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this mini PC took nine seconds to boot up from a cold start. This is the full version of Windows 10 Professional and comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find, including the Windows App Store, so you can download all your favorite apps and games. So this is basically a full PC experience in a mini compact size. This system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications, and you can also play quite a few games from the Windows Store, including Modern Combat 5. Now let's go ahead and check out this system properties. And as you can see, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 clocked at 2.3 gigahertz with 16 gigs of RAM, 64-bit OS, Windows 10 Professional, activated and ready to use. Now let's have a quick look at this system storage info. We have 512 gigs of internal storage and 475 gigs are usable. And I've already installed a lot of big games so you can see what we have left now. Okay, I've just connected up my 128 gig flash drive containing all my 4K samples. So let's go ahead and play some 4K videos from a USB drive and see how it performs. 
So first up, 160 megabits per second 4K Jellyfish demo. And as you can see, it's playing nice and smooth. Um, next, I'm jumping straight to the 400 megabits per second Jellyfish demo. And as you can see, it's actually playing okay. Uh, not as smooth as I would have liked, but it's handling it well. Next up, we are testing some regular 4K HDR video at 60 FPS. And as you can see, it's playing nice and smooth with no issues. So time for some YouTube streaming from the web browser and the maximum resolution supported is 4K60. And as you can see, we have super smooth 4K streaming with no issues. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Now it's your turn. And watching Netflix from the web browser will give you a maximum resolution of 1080p. You have all made it through the first game. Congratulations. Time for the gaming test and we are going to be playing GTA V. I feel that's my benchmark game and favorite game actually on PC. I installed it through Steam, all 100 gigs of it. So quick look at the graphics settings. Resolution is set to 1080p 60Hz and general graphics performance set to normal. And as you can see, GTA V playing pretty well. 1080p resolution achieving a constant 30fps, so not bad to be honest. 30 FPS has to be the absolute minimum I would consider when playing GTA V. 60 would have been nice though, but this is still quite playable. Now to really put this system to the test, I'm going to move on to some emulation starting off with Switch. And Switch emulation does require a pretty powerful system. And as you can see, the game is absolutely struggling to load. So Switch emulation is not happening on this mini PC. So next up, PS2 emulation playing Def Jam Fight for New York and upscaled to 10x resolution with a Vulcan backend. And as you can see, it plays extremely well. And the benefits of having a solid Wi-Fi connection and gigabit LAN means that game streaming becomes a quite a good experience. I'm playing GTA Vice City, the new upscaled edition on PS Now, and I'm playing this only on Wi-Fi. And as you can see, the game plays good with no buffering or stuttering. Pretty good game streaming experience, if you ask me. Now, here are the results for the Wi-Fi speed tests. We achieved download speeds of 61 megabits per second and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And for your information, this is typically the top speeds we achieve in our office. All right, so time for the benchmarks. Geekbench 5 gives us a single core score of 923 and multi-core score of 3007. PC Mark 10 total score is 3681. Cinebench gives us 3579. And the Passmark CPU benchmark score is 8277. So let's see how this compares to the other mini PCs of this year. So here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2022, allowing you to compare the specs, prices and features of all the most current mini PCs. And as you can see, they have all been ranked by their CPU Passmark score. So higher the Passmark score, the more powerful performance you can expect. So the B-Link SER3 has taken position 3 on this chart with a CPU Passmark score of 8277. And yes, I am working on some new categories and will try and fill in those gaps pretty soon. Also, two new mini PCs are coming soon and you can see their ranking on the chart and a sub to the channel to find out which models they actually are as soon as I drop the video. So there you have it, guys. That was the B-Link SER3. So a well-designed premium mini PC offering a good performance for everyday tasks and can handle PC games like GTA V at 1080p with normal graphics. This mini PC is ideal for web browsing, video streaming, office work, applications, and pretty good for school work too. I even tested light 1080p editing and it handles it well. Its major advantage is the space saving design, making it easy to integrate within any setup. And also I have found myself traveling with it. I love the versatility in being able to connect to any HDMI display and with the option of triple 4K display output. And it's pretty future-proof too, being able to upgrade the RAM and storage with multiple storage options. 
I hope you find this one useful. Links are in the description box in case you want to pick one up for yourself. Any questions, you guys know what to do. Leave your thoughts and comments below. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.